Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Great late night rally. 2022 Panini Prism Baseball 12 box picker team 7 coming at you. All card ship. Full case break. And this is the last break of Prism Baseball we have for the time being. I think Instagram personal breaks may have some loose boxes available. So there may be still, still some lying around. But as for a full case picker team break, This is all we have for now until we get, we, we might get some more. All right, so big thanks to that group right here. Let's pop this case open and let's make this break happen. Thanks everyone for digging deep. I promise that, hey, if everyone digs deep and get this break done by the time we usually end the show, we'll go over a little bit and keep this break party going. So, the box says find three autographs per box on average, but I think a lot of the boxes have been above average. We've seen a lot of four auto boxes, so hopefully that, that trend continues uh, here in this first box, first of 12. Good luck, everybody. All the Division Series games in the books. And some surprises here. The Phillies jumping all over Max Fried and the Braves almost gave it away, but they ended up winning 7 6 in Atlanta. Game one in the books, game one of five. Phillies leading the series 1 0. The Mariners jumped all over Justin Verlander early in the game, but unlike the Phillies, they did blow it. Jordan Alvarez coming up. In the bottom of the ninth, blasting an a three-run homer to deliver the victory for the Astros, 8-7. Yeah, Joe Pizzle can't believe Seattle blew that ish. Why, I'm not too sure why you would bring Robbie Ray in. I feel like that's always a recipe for, for disaster when you bring a starter to try to do some relief work. I mean... I think people fall in love with that sometimes because they saw, like, you know, they saw Madison Bumgarner do it for the Giants. They saw Kershaw do that a little bit. They saw Verlander do that a little bit. I don't know. There weren't any other arms in there that, that, could, that could do that work, but maybe not. I don't know. I thought the, I thought the Mariners had a pretty good bullpen. So all these Torkelsons will, of course, go to the Tigers. Nick S. with that one. And our first auto, Gabriel Arias. Cleveland, this is for you. Michael with the Guardians. We'll do an auto recap at the end of this break, too. The blue and red parallels not numbered, so I'll be breezing right by those. But remember, all cards will ship. Second auto, it's Cutter Crawford. Rookie auto for the Red Sox. That'll be for Nick S. Nick Stoffel with that one. Yeah, there's Aaron Judge. We'll get to the two other games in a second. Then we'll look ahead to the other two other uh, games tomorrow, and we'll talk about those. Zadalas Garcia to one forty nine. And another autograph, Spencer Torkelson, nice. Rookie auto for the Tigers. Nick Stoffel won that team in the filler. And gets rewarded in the first box right here with the torque. All right, so that's three autos already. Let's see if they, they gifted us a fourth. Maybe we'll see some low numbered parallels here too. Here's a Ryan Feltner to 75. That'll be for the Rockies. That's gonna go to Chad Wright. 
And yes, a Colton Welker autograph. Chad Wright with Colorado. You think Torkelson's a bust? I feel like number one overall pick, you gotta give him a, a little bit of a longer leash. Joe Pizzle is asking, what, what did f former number one overall pick for the Pirates, catcher Henry Davis, what did he tell you? Joe P is in Arizona, if you don't know. Our friend in Arizona and does a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of autograph hunting. Especially with all the spring training and Arizona Fall League stuff there. There's Vidal Brujan, 95 out of 99 for the Rays. That'll be for Chad Wright. We got the Rays straight up. All right, next box. I think Guardians jumped out to an early one nothing lead, I want to say, but Yankees ended up ended up uh, covering that, and I think they were I think they kind of won comfortably four one. Cole's yeah, Garrett Cole was cruising. Bader, Rizzo, Bash, Yankees beat the Guardians four one. So you asked him to sign the ball, and he said, no, I'll take a pick, though. Then said, I'll actually sign it, but I'll, it'll be in a spot you won't like. What do you mean by that? Like a spot on the, not, not on the sweet spot? Or like on your face? <laughs> My Dodgers. Beat the uh, beat the Padres five three. Padres made it a little close. There were some some uh, some runners on base, some traffic on base that got got me a little nervous, but but they ended up winning in the end five three. I was a little nervous about Trey Turner going to the playoffs. He seemed to be a little uh, a little off towards the end of the season, but hey, he let off with a home run, so it looks like looks like he's. Looks like he's okay, and Julio Urias had a nice start as well. And our first autograph, Peyton Henry. 11 out of 50, rookie auto for the fish. Stephen Carney with the Marlins. Uh, yeah, he, he want, he's going to put on a side panel. Bobby Wood Jr., I think we find some parallels of him. This goes to the Royals. That'll be from Mark, the Royals. Or maybe some ink. Got Josh Lowe. How low can you go? Rookie autograph for Chad Wright and the Rays. Was someone in the chat saying the Rizzo was washed up? It's 149. Now, there was a... There was a celebrity. I think it was Jerry Seinfeld or somebody who said that, you know, obviously I think... You know, maybe these baseball players are a little prickly because they don't want people profiting off their autographs. But I think Jerry Seinfeld was, says that 51 out of 99, Jaron Duran, that he just signs everything as much as possible so he just washes out the market. So then it wouldn't be valuable to try to get his autograph. There's Brian Della Cruz. Stephen Carney and the Marlins. Max Scherzer to one ninety nine, Blue Mojo. A lot of questions about Max Scherzer getting paid a lot, but not not winning those that first wild card game. And we got Matt Manning. That's our uh, fourth auto, another four auto box. Matt Manning for the Tigers. Nick Stoffel with the Matt Manning. Ooh, and a blue Wander Franco. Nice. That's for Chad Wright. 
Who are some uh, Who are some nice guys, Joe P? That you that you've run into in Arizona Fall League? There you go, Blue Wander Franco, Chad. Right, that's nice. That's the kind of stuff we're looking for. Cabrian Hayes Gold, two out of ten. Jordan Walker. Is that a Cardinals pitcher? Key Brian Hayes for Michael. Michael P. and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Nice out of 10. Another box. Matt McClain. I don't know Matt McClain. That doesn't ring a bell, but it's good to hear. Jordan Walker is a Cardinals right fielder. Okay, I got the team right. Nick York is cool as well. Wait, we only get two games tomorrow? Why does the AL get a rest? Oh, and I guess the Dodgers, or I guess the NL gets a rest the next day. All right, they got a game in between. Hmm. I guess I want to spread those games out. We'll, pose, we'll be posting some polls on Twitter to see what people think, who's going to win those ball games. So be sure to follow us at twi on uh, Twitter, at Jaspi's Break. Look out for those polls. If you missed this one, I'm sure there'll be others. It's good to see what people think, what the people think. Slippery. Good luck behind Ronald Cunha Jr. is Kyle Muller, his teammate, going to Nick S. and the Braves. Nice. Jordan Walker signs for anyone and everyone after the game. Just goes down the line for five, ten minutes signing. I think that's what I would I would do too. Luis Matos is really nice. I would just I would just go to the go to the fence or go to the uh, go to the railing or whatever at the ballpark and just go down the line to sign really quick before turning in. I don't know if I'd spend hours doing that, but can't get everybody. But I'll just kind of just go down the line. Whoever's lucky enough to stick a ball and a pen in front of me, I'll do it. There's Robbie Ray. I don't know, that decision will be talked about in Seattle talk, sports talk radio all day, all night, I'm sure. There's a Mike Trout Illumination, 75 out of 99. Illumination insert, that sort of wave parallel there. That'll go to the Angels, Travis with the Halos. Obviously, we're not going to find Mike Trout autographs in here, but if we find like some one of ones of his. Train whistle hits, maybe. Could be nice. Connor Brogdon, Philly. They're, they're looking like a hot team. That, that bullpen's still a little bit of a concern. That's for Mark. But so far, so good. And I think they're, I even think they're doing well without their big boppers really doing damage. You know what I mean? I think, I think even without Schwarber. And Bryce Harper knocking in bombs. They're still finding ways to score runs, which I guess is kind of scary. Jake Berger. Mmm. Burgers. Chris Parent with the White Sox. Won that in the filler. So the bad signers so far in this Arizona Fall League. Noel V. Marte, Jason Dominguez, Heston Kirkstad. I wonder if guys like Jason Dominguez, I think, was open to it at first, but then there's Stephen Kwan, nice, debut sing rookie debut signature. If it wasn't Julio Rodriguez, Stephen Kwan might be getting some uh, 
might be getting some some votes there. Cleveland, this is for you. Michael with the Guardians. Now, Joe P. Pizzle, what what makes someone a bad what makes someone a bad signer? Like, because they just won't do it, or they're they're a jerk about it. I mean, you can't really knock someone for not wanting to sign, but what makes them what makes them bad though? Just someone not willing to sign can't make them a bad signer, right? Maybe they just don't, they're, they're not into that kind of thing. Or maybe they're rude about saying no. I suppose I mean. So what, what, what would be, what would be the best way for, if, in case there's any ball players listening, what would be the best way for someone to just say they don't want to do it? Like, what's a, what's a nice way to do it? You know, do you want like a sorry guys, not today. Thanks for coming out, you know, but just keep walking or, or, or what? So just a simple, hey, sorry guys, not sign, I'm not signing today. Thanks for coming out kind of thing, easy enough. Should be easy enough, right? Let's not waste each other's time, you know? Let's, let's just let, let, let each other know where, where we're at here. All right, next box. Suppose that's easy enough. There's Joe Barlow, rookie autographs, blue wave. So ball players, if you're listening, I know you're trying to work on your craft, trying to get to the big leagues, got to do the Arizona Fall League. But you know, if you don't feel like signing, just let them know. They'll deal with it. 29 out of 50, Joe Barlow, blue wave for Texas. That's going to be for Patrick and the Rangers. And then we got a Tyler Beatty. Autograph for the Giants. That goes to Nick Stoffel and the and my rivals, the Giants. Are they are they in on Aaron Judge? It's possible. He is from there, Northern California area. It's Harmon Killebrew, one ten out of one twenty five. A lot of people say that he is the the MLB logo man. Redemption. That's true, yeah. I guess if their English is limited, they may, they may come off as unintentionally, unintentionally rude. Y J S F J J and J and Stir is asking what's next. Sounds like it sounds like a Joe Pizzle burner account. Uh, nothing's next. This is a uh, this break will take us probably another. Oh, I don't know. 40 more minutes, and we're calling it a night after that. We've been probably been streaming for about nine hours by then. Snake skin, Marcus Simeon to 50, and a blue stained glass, Fernando Tatis here. The stained glass is in prison baseball, a little more common. Uh, that's for Texas, that's for the Rangers. That's, that'll be for Patrick Davis. Now, we'll be back tomorrow, though. Three o'clock was actually no. Jason, my colleague, will be going live a little bit earlier. But if you subscribe to our account, our channel, and all that, you'll know when we go on air. But we'll be back tomorrow for more, and with all the new releases. More for Patrick, AJ, Alexi, and a Julio Rodriguez who had a nice day today. Ooh, and even better, Chad Wright. Look at this, a blue Julio Rodriguez. Maybe, I guess, a more perfect color match if Seattle was using their old school colors. Not numbered, but parallels. That's the kind of stuff we want to see. I don't know what that is right there. Maybe the, the blue didn't print all the way on that. That's kind of a bummer, but 
I don't know. Investigate that. Take a closer look when you get that card. But still nice. There's a Wander Franco base. Pete Alonzo to 100 for the Metropolitans. That'll be for Chad Cromwell. And the redemption is going to be Edward Cabrera, who seems to be a notorious non-signer for the Marlins, I believe. Yep, for the fish. And that will go to Stephen Carney in the Marlins. All right, next box. Well, what does everyone think about tomorrow's early game? 135. Is that West Coast time? Is that my time? Yeah, 135 my time, 435 East Coast time, 335 Central. Phillies at Braves. Phillies are leading the series 1 0. And who are they starting? They're, uh, Zach Wheeler for the Phillies is, uh, is dueling with Kyle Wright, not Chad Wright. But Kyle Wright, Chad's brother, maybe? Chad Wright is your brother, Kyle Wright? Are you the, are you the brother of a, of a major league ball player and you didn't want a name drop? That's nice. Who wins? What do you think? Who, who wins tomorrow? According to... Uh, it is... Chad Wright says, according to uh, ESPN analytics, for whatever that's worth, the Braves uh, win percentage 53.5%. This is really close. Phillies, 46.5%. That's really close. And if you're, if you're into this sort of thing, uh, on the money line, Braves are minus 135 and the Phillies are plus 115. My guess is if you calculated those odds a little bit, is that there'll be a little more advantage trying to go with the underdog at plus 115. And there's Edward Cabrera. Sign your cards, Edward. Another base, Julio Rodriguez for Chad Wright and the Mariners. He's got the Mariners straight up. So who does everyone have tomorrow, Phillies or Braves? Braves are kind of, it's a best of five. So this is kind of the, uh, is this a, already a back against the wall situation? I guess if you don't want to go down 0-2, there's Ronnie Dawson for the Astros. That'll be for Mark. So I guess maybe this is a must-win spot. There's Rodolfo Castro, rookie autograph for the Pirates. It's for Michael in Pittsburgh. Joe Pizzle says the Phillies. What's everyone else think? The Red Wander Franco. Nice, Chad Wright. With the Rays. When you're right, you're right. Jackson Coar to 199. Blue Mojo, Kansas City, color match, Mark.
Another Wander Franco base this time. And all those will add up, I'm sure, especially if you get them graded out. Next auto is going to be Matt Manning. Another Matt Manning for Detroit, Nick Stoffel. George Brett, old school insert. Romy Gonzalez to 75. It's for the White Sox. That's going to go to Chris. We've got a Juan Yepes. Cardinals. Travis with the Cardinals. Cardinals have some thinking to do in the offseason. After getting bounced in the uh, the wild card round by the Phillies, they got some key players retiring. Yachty's retiring. Adam Wainwright, Waino's retiring. Albert Pujols is retiring. They still got it. They still got Paul Goldschmidt. They still got Nolan Arenado. Those guys are really good. They got to add some pieces. I'm sure they'll have some, some help coming up. I feel like they have a decent farm system. I'm, I'm sure they'll have some help coming up in the farm system. Maybe, maybe they'll be active in free agency. All right, next box. The night game. 537 on the West Coast. And I'll be here watching this game with you guys. 837 on the East Coast, 737 Central. Padres, Dodgers. Dodgers leading the series 1-0. Tomorrow's starters are going to be Yu Darvish versus Clayton Kershaw. Former Dodger Yu Darvish facing Dodger le legend Clayton Kershaw. Who wins? Again, for what it, whatever it's worth, using these ESPN analytics, 72.5% is the Dodgers winning percentage. Padres, 27.5%. Rex has got some trivia for us. What's the longest consecutive playoff wins in baseball? How many, which teams, and year or years? Hmm. I wonder if it's a team that maybe has has a team swept their way into like a World Series win. There's Mike Bowman to 149. Because that would be the streak, right? You'd have to just sweep your way in. There's another Matt Manning. I feel like Yankees have to be one of them. You know, Yankees must have... Must have, like, swept, like, uh... Must have swept a divisional series, three nothing, the CS four nothing, and the World Series four nothing. That would be your streak. Maybe one of those late nineties, early two thousands Yankees teams, Rex. It's Drew Ellis. 27 out of 50, snakeskin. Sean Barnes with the snakes.
We got a Manuel Rodriguez, rookie autograph, purple cracked ice, Cubs. It'll be for Kevin, last ball mojo. Oh, way earlier? But back in the day, hmm, back in the day, they didn't have division series. There was one point way back in the day where, where the top two teams would just go directly to the World Series. Like the, the top team in the AL, top team in the NL would just go directly to the World Series. In fact, during the, I think during the, like, the 1920s or something like that, there were, I think there was like a, it was like a best of nine World Series at some point. Uh, Jackson Reitz for the Brewers, that'll be for Chad Cromwell. Bobby Witt Jr., Royals, that'll be for Mark. There's Dylan Coleman. They did it three times way, way back. So not like the 60s or 50s, 60s. I feel like 50s, 60s, they must have had a championship series. So they could have gone four games there and four games there. That could, that's an eight-game winning streak. I say it's eight is the streak. Eight is the streak. We're halfway through this break, by the way. 30 more minutes to go. Eight is the streak. It's the Yankees. And it's the 1950s Yankees. Somewhere in, somewhere in the 50s. According to Wikipedia, 1927, 28, and 32, 12 in a row? wonder what those, what, what were those, maybe there was a CS, but how do you get 12? Unless they were longer series back in the day? There's the man of the, the moment for Houston, Jordan Alvarez, with that big walk-off. Marcus Simeon to 149 for Texas. Julio going to Chad Wright. Patrick Davis with the Marcus Simeon. And Jackson Coar is our autograph. A little color match there. Royals, Mark. Mark N with that auto. The blue autos are numbered. The blue non-autos are not numbered. Another wander for Chad Wright. And an O'Neill Cruz rookie auto. That is for Michael. Michael P. and the Pittsburgh Pirates. There you go. Nice. Old school, Carl Yastrzemski. Luis Frias. Little color match there as well. Little red parallel going to Sean Barnes and the Diamondbacks. 81. It would be cool to get some snakeskin for the snakes. Kind of a cool parallel. There's Jordan Alvarez, Red Wave, 91 out of 99. 
can't imagine it'll be too long before Jordan Alvarez hits free agency. Sixty-eight S ninety-five Drew Ellis. Ah, that makes more sense. It's twelve straight between nineteen twenty-seven, so it's it's across a number of postseasons. Got it. All right, next box. That's crazy. The Yankees swept all three World Series in 27, 28, 32. Um, let's go to Cots contracts. And let's see what let's see what Jordan Alvarez's deal is. Wow. So Jordan Alvarez is just on a rookie deal. He still has arbitration three arbitrations to go. Arbitration one. For 2023, at the end of this season, arbitration two in 2020. So the, the Astros can hang on to this guy for less than like a million dollars a year. Oh no, arbitration will probably get a little bit more than that, but but still, it'll be far less than what he could command on an open market. It'll be three arbitration years before he hits free agency in 2026, unless you know, unless uh, the Astros avoid arbitration and then pay that guy a boatload of money. I mean, I, I mean, they could. They could lock up that guy. Just, the Justin Verlander money, they might re-sign him, but Justin Verlander's coming off the books. Got some Yuli Gurriel coming off the books. There's, there's a few guys coming off the books. All right. Next box, good luck. Javier Baez to 149, Detroit. And this is a short print. There's Josh Bell, Nationals edition, giraffe print, short print for Chad Wright. I dig that, going on safari. Nick gets the uh, Javier Baez as well. It's Max Scherzer to 99. Walker Bueller, Blue Mojo to 199 for Nick and the Dodgers. Get well soon. Speedy recovery, Walker Bueller. I think we're going to miss, I mean, because they kind of diagnosed his arm injury in the Tommy John. so late in the season that he's going to miss pretty much all of 2023. There's Shane Boz, rookie autographs for Tampa Bay. The Boz going to Chad Wright and the Rays. I think the Dodgers will be an interesting position. With Walker Bueller, who I want to say, yeah, I'm sure Walker Buehler could have, could have uh, if he had a great season this year, he might have been able to, to maybe twist some arms in the Dodger organization for some sort of extension, avoid arbitration. But now I don't think that's going to happen. He's got arbitration three in two, 2023 at the end of this season, and then one more arbitration, ARB4, the year after that. So I think they'll most likely definitely go to arbitration there. And probably go to arbitration the next year after that just to see, because he's going to miss 2023, to see how he just looks in 2024. And then see how, see how he responds from what's going to be a second Tommy John surgery. So we'll wait and see sort of situation for Walker Bueller. TJ Friedel, 27 out of 75. Red Wave autograph for the Reds. Chad Cromwell. That Walker Bueller money might go to Julio Urias. 
It was in the, his last arbitration year at the end of this season. He may look to avoid arbitration, get him locked up. There's Jake McCarthy, 5 out of 25. Purple Cracked Ice for Sean Barnes and the Diamondbacks. Ooh, this is a uh, also a short print. The Lava Flow. Nice, and that's Jose Ramirez. Michael, with the Guardians. Cleveland, this is for you. Nice. Solid break. Keep an eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com in case we get some more Prism Baseball loaded up in the store. This is our last picker team for a little bit. Again, I think personal breaks may have some individual boxes left if you want to grab a box for yourself. It's okay to be selfish. Get a box for yourself. All right. Crazy to think that the Dodgers will actually have some payroll flexibility next year. I think they're not paying the full contract for David Price, but his number, his his salary will be off the books. That might be like another eight million dollars, something like that. Trey Turner's twenty-one million dollars off the books. He's a free agent. Where will he end up? Well, hopefully back in LA, but a lot of people will be asking for his services. If the Dodgers win the World Series, I wonder if Clayton Kershaw, who's just signed a one-year deal, I wonder if he will either retire or maybe, you know, play a season or two in Texas with the Rangers. If the Dodgers don't win the World Series, maybe he signs another one-year deal with the Dodgers. Craig Kimbrell, $16 million, I'm sure will be off the books. I think Max Muncy signed a one-year extension, so he's, he's locked up, I want to say. Sure, Andrew Heaney's 8.5 mil is off. Is probably someone else is probably going to sign him. I think he's earned himself a decent payday. Probably a few years and some some millions. I don't know if the Dodgers are going to re-sign him with their sort of pipeline. Tyler Anderson, another great reclamation project, another great story. He might have played his way. He's pitched well enough to play his way out of the Dodgers' plans. He's going to get. Better deal, I think. Edward Olivares for the Royals. Then his one year, $8 million. Blake Trine and the Dodgers may may extend. He might, if his shoulder injuries are behind him, then may. There's Vito Brujan, 15 out of 75. So Olivares will go to Mark and the Royals, and the Vidal Brujan will go to Chad Wright and the Rays. Matt Veerling, 32 out of 60. Another Torkelson. Let's see if there's any other, see if we've got other news on MLBTradeRumors.com. Jaron Duran Duran, hungry like the wolf. Nick Stoffel with the Boston Red Sox. Oh, that's right. Uh, Rob Thompson, Phillies manager, shed the interim tag. And, um, and it's got a two-year extension. He's the official manager now. Oh, what, a, what a weird thing. Joe Girardi gets fired somewhat early on. And then after that, they didn't necessarily light it up as soon as the interim manager came in. But they ended up, I think, being 62 and like 49 or something crazy like that under Rob Thompson. I keep wanting to say Rob Thomas, but I, th I believe that is the lead singer of Matchbox 20. There's Aaron Ashby, Chad Cromwell with the Brew Crew. 
Rob Thompson is the Phillies manager. I don't know. It, it, was Joe Girardi that bad? Or would this, if they stuck with Joe Girardi, would the same thing probably would have happened? Or did they need that? I guess they felt like they needed the change, so they did it. That's right. Or old is Chapman to be left off the, it is left off the, uh, the Yankees ALDS roster after skipping a team workout. So it looks like, uh, Looks like he is done with the Yankees. Tyler McGill to 199. It's unlikely that he'll be. I mean, I don't. I don't think he was going to be used in high leverage situations anyway. But all right, hey, we're almost there. Three boxes to go. Another 15, 20 minutes to go. This is a late night break, so I'm starting to drag a little, we'll slow down a little bit here, but. Oh, speaking of arbitration, there's projected arbitration salaries for 2023. I guess the writer, Matt Schwartz, for MLBTradeRumors.com has a, uh, has some arbitration numbers here, possibilities, projections. Cody Bellinger's arbitration number is 18 million. I don't know if the Dodgers are going to pay him a year, 18 million. Julio Urias, they'll play, pay the 13 million. Man, do they pay Walker Buehler 8 million? They might be able to avoid arbitration. Maybe just give him a short three year deal or something like that. For a little bit more than that 8 million, but with the security of the years, considering his potential arm issues. Tony Gonsolin, 3.5 million? I'll take it. Dustin May, 1.4, easy. Will Smith, 5.2 million, easy. Did this kind of go under the radar? Maybe it did. Don Mattingly won't return as Marlins manager in 2023. Is he retiring or does he want to do something else? It looks like it's amicable. No, he's just kind of stepping away. He's just looking forward to spending some time with his family, maybe some future endeavors. Maybe he gets into the broadcast booth. Here's our Carolina Blue hot box. Madison Bumgarner to 149. And look at this. Uh, Bobby Witt Jr., Carolina Blue. I don't know what these go for in the secondary market, but pretty nice. Mark with the Royals. I feel like this, this sort of stuff, you can just kind of grade, get graded, take it to PSA or something like that, and without any rush. Takes a few months, right? Maybe if it's on the slow boat. But if you don't rush it, you know, it, it may be close to spring training time by the time you get those grades back and then it'd be a good time to maybe move those cards. Again, there's Lars Newt Bar. Some delicious, delicious Newt Bars. Going to Travis and the Redbirds, a little color match. Giolito to 199. For the White Sox. The White Sox are looking for a new manager too. Luis Frias. Carolina Blue. Rookie autograph for Arizona. Sean Barnes with the Snakes. 10 out of 25. There's a snake in my boot. Another short print here, Connor Seabold. If you see bold, be bold. Goes to Nick and the Red Sox. Tiger. Tiger uppercut. Base Bobby Witt Jr. Peach Chris Bryant to 100. Is it Peach? 
I'm calling it Peach. It might be officially something else. Steven Riddings, rookie autograph for the Yankees. Dwayne with the Bronx Bombers. I'm a Peach. Chris Bryant's still Giants edition, by the way. That's going to go to Nick. Bobby Wood Juniors, all of these are going to Mark. See Bryce Harper trying to lay down bunts? All right, two boxes to go. We've got a free agent list here. According to MLBTradeRumors.com, the following players are on track to be eligible for free agency after the 2022 season. Players' ages for the 2023 season are listed in parentheses. Generally, the cutoff for this list is at least 50 appearances or 20 innings pitch in 2022. And we got there are some catchers. We have Wilson Contreras, 31-year-old Wilson Contreras. He's got to find a home somewhere. A lot of older catchers here. Austin Hedges, Ploiecki, Romine, Gary Sanchez, Zunino. Nothing too crazy on the catching market, so I think Wilson Contreras might have might get some nice offers for team seeking catchers. First baseman. Jose Abreu is a free agent. 36 year old Jose Abreu. I mean, he might have he might have lost a little touch, but I wonder if some team maybe in need of some quick and easy power may just uh, put him in the stick him in the DH. Remember, since we have universal DH, now a player like Jose Abreu has twice the uh, twice the field to choose from. Twice the field to choose from for for a DH job, maybe. <laughs> Is that right, Rex? Another breaker that you're talking to, and there's other breakers. Um, said that every case of prison they did had a newt bar in the Carolina box. Interesting. A newt bar autograph? There's Cal Ripken to 149, the Iron Man for the O's. It'll be for Nick. Josh Bell's a free agent. Someone will sign him. Um, Trey Mancini's a free agent. Will Myers, a free agent. Will Myers... Uh, believe it or not, has the distinction of being the longest tenured Padre. That's how long he's been there. Been a lot of turnover with players in, in, in San Diego too, but yeah, he's the longest tenured Padre there. There's Reese Nair, speaking of the Padre, 65 out of 75. That'll go to Nick and the Friars. Anthony Rizzo is a free agent. Miguel Sano a free agent. He's got a club option, though. And we got Seiya Suzuki. Debut signatures for the Cubs. Kevin with the Cubbies. Last spot mojo strikes again 70% of the time. Last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. And a red Wander Franco for Chad Wright. When you're right, you're right. A new bar auto. Huh. Yeah, go back and watch, Rex. See if every Carolina hot box we have, see if it has a Lars Newtbar autograph. That'd be interesting. Next little stack, and then the last box. Mike Bowman, rookie autographs. For the O's, Nick Stoffel, Orioles. Second base free agents, any, any interesting names here? 
Adam Frazier, maybe. Kind of a 290, 280, 290 sort of hitter. Could be. I don't know how he did this season. Gene Segura, Jonathan Scope, Jonathan Villar. Nothing too crazy here. Uh, that Yelich is a snakeskin. That's to 50, 60, something like that. That's for the Brewers. That's going to be for Chad Cromwell. That's 15 out of 50, 5-0. Five Catfish Hunter to 199, old school guy. Wait, did Chad, speaking of fishing, did Chad Wright say he was going fishing in the morning? And Chad, I, have, I think that's what he said. It was the other Chad. I have not, uh, I've not been fishing in a minute or two. Last box. We made it. Thanks for the late night fill, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks to the people in the chat keeping me company. I appreciate that too. I think the shortstop market should be really interesting. Tim Anderson, well, I'm sure will, I'm sure the club option will be picked up, right? Carlos Correa, I think, can opt out. That's a player option. Carlos Correa may be on the market. Trey Turner's on the market. Dansby Swanson on the market. And if you're looking for a good defensive shortstop, Antron Simmons still on the also on the market. So it could be, and Xander Bogarts can opt out. Wow. So if Xander Bogarts opt out, opts out of his remaining three years, sixty million dollars. Xander Bogarts, Carlos Correa, Dansby Swanson, Trey Turner. Wow. I wonder if that's a, that's. A, I mean, I, I would love for the Dodgers to hold on to Trey Turner. I wonder if that's a good thing that there's so many free agents, uh, shortstops that could be there. You know, maybe that softens the price of everybody's contract. All right, final box, final set of autographs. Jacob deGrom, 45 out of 75. Illumination insert for Chad Cromwell and the Mets. Another Bobby Witt Jr. Third baseman. Nolan, I don't think Nolan Arenado is going to opt out. Nolan Arenado can opt out of his remaining five years, $144 million. I'm thinking he probably won't. There's Packy Naughton for the Angels. That's going to go to Travis. 52 out of 75. Justin Turner's club option probably will be picked up. That might be the last year or two of Justin Turner as an everyday player. Clayton Kershaw. Although the DH could probably help him out. Redemption. Another Edward Cabrera, maybe. Sometimes Say Suzuki has been a redemption, even though he's got some stuff that's live and some stuff that are that are redemption. Silver, Spencer Torkelson. Let's root for him next year. Have a nice little bounce back. Nick Stoffel with the Tigers. And a red O'Neill Cruz for Pittsburgh. Yeah, that shortstop market could be pretty interesting. Left fielders, Ben Intendi, Michael Brantley. Michael Brantley's already 30, he's gonna be 36 next year. Oh, Michael Brantley. Um, who else looks interesting on this? Trey Mancini, Jock Peterson will be a free agent, AJ Pollock. As a player option, center fielders, Jackie Bradley Jr., Aaron, Aaron Judge, obviously. That's going to be the big one. Right fielders, Joey Gallo, maybe? I don't know, nothing. I mean, basically, outfielder Aaron Judge is going to be the big chase. There's Jose Abreu, blue. 
Starting pitchers, Tyler Anderson could be out there. Dylan Bundy could be out there. Nate Eovaldi, Andrew Heaney, Kershaw. Kluber, Quintana, Rodon, Noah Syndergaard. There's some, there's, there's some names out there. I think it's mostly going to be the Aaron Judge and the shortstop sweepstakes. There's Matt Veerling, 14 out of 99 for Mark and the Phillies, the fighting Phils. Base, Spencer Torkelson. Zach Rex to 149. Not Rex like Rex in the chat, but Rex, R-E-K-S. Stargazing Mike Trout Silver. That's for Travis. Juan Soto, Red Wave, still a national here. 73 out of 99 for Chad Wright. Chad Wright Brothers. And that, my friends, is that. Let's see what that redemption is. Is it one of the usual suspects or somebody else? It is, whoa, somebody else, Wander Franco. Rookie autograph, Silver Prism. That's a nice way to end things. Chad Wright, who bought the Tampa Bay Rays straight up. Which I also greatly appreciate. Thank you. Plenty of time to redeem it. Really nice. Wish it was live, but hey, we'll take it. All right, so the recap for the 12 box full case, pick your team number seven from jazbeescasebreaks.com. A lot of nice color, a lot of nice ink. There's the Lava Flow, Jose Ramirez, Giraffe, O'Neill Cruz. Some nice stuff here. Some Matt Mannings. Edward Cabrera, just one. Julio Rodriguez, blue. Got Stephen Kwan autograph. Cabrian Hayes, gold, which is number to 10. Blue Wander Franco. So some pretty nice stuff. Spencer Torkelson in the first box. There you go, gang. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.